Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to talk about Steema account permissions and how you should manage and use the different keys that have been generated for your account. So let's get to it. So as we stressed in our previous video on the Steema account creation process, since your account may accumulate Steam tokens, it has real monetary value associated with it. Therefore, you want to safeguard it as such. This is where the importance of account permissions comes in. From your Steam account, navigate to your user icon in the top right corner. Then click on Wallet. Then click on Permissions. Here we see we have four permissions listed. Posting, Active, Owner, and Memo. These long alphanumeric strings you see corresponding to each of these permissions is a public key. There's a corresponding private key for each of these as well. The private keys are what you want to keep, well, private. And to review them, you can click on these boxes to reveal. These private keys can be used like a password to access your account. So why would we need four different types of passwords? This is ultimately to increase account security. So let's discuss this idea. If all you're wanting to do is your everyday Steema activity, you want to be logging in with your posting key. With your posting key, you can post, comment, edit, vote, re-steam, and follow users. So this is the key that you want to be logging in with day in and day out. The reason why is because when you log in with this key, you have limited access only to the activities I just mentioned. You don't have access to transferring funds or doing transactions or changing profile settings. Also, generally speaking, the more you log into an account online, the more likely you are to have the corresponding password to that account stolen or compromised. If you're consistently logging in with your posting key, then in the unfortunate situation that your posting key is stolen, then at least the hacker will have limited access to the account. They won't be able to get to your funds with your posting key. They won't be able to update your profile or lock you out of your account by changing your password or your keys. Now, they could do other reputational damage, like post spam under your username, but at least you'll still have access to your account and can change your passwords to limit the damage. We'll get back to this point in a bit. But really, it's an extremely good idea to make sure that you get into your account, copy down your posting key, and get used to logging in with this one on the regular. Now, there are times when you may need elevated account permissions to do other activities on the site. Let's move on to this. Say you want to transfer funds using your account, or you want to update a setting in your profile. For these types of activities, you'll need to log in with your active key. The active key is meant to be used for these more sensitive tasks. There are other tasks that require your active key as well, such as powering up or down with Steam Power, converting Steam Dollars, and voting for witnesses. But these are topics we haven't even generally touched on yet in this playlist, so we won't go into these at the moment. Now, the most elevated key of all is the owner key. The owner key is the master key to your account, giving you overarching access to everything. So given this, you should use it very sparingly, only when you absolutely need it. Really, the only reason you should be logging in with this key is to change the keys for your account if one happens to become compromised. So if you want to change your active or posting key, for example, then you can log in with your owner key, which you're likely logged in with right now if you've just created your Steemit account. After logging in, you can navigate to your icon in the top right corner, then click on the Change Password option. Here, you'll have to enter your current master password or owner key and then click the button to generate a new one. Before moving forward, let's check out what Steemit tells us here on this page. Steemit says, the first rule of Steemit is, do not lose your password. The second rule of Steemit is, do not lose your password. The third rule of Steemit is we cannot recover your password. And we'll stop here and you can pause and read the rest, but hopefully you get the point. Remember in our previous video when we mentioned that Steemit can't recover lost passwords? They're making that evidently clear here. So it's absolutely crucial that you save, back up, and store your keys yourself because if you lose them, Steemit will not be able to help you get them back. So with Steemit, you have an associated cryptocurrency wallet, and just like other wallets, you are the only individual that has access to your private keys. Steemit does not store them on their side, so there's no way to ask, hey, can you send me an email to reset my password, like you could with Facebook, for example. 
Okay, so back to what we were doing, changing the password. Once you do change the password, all of the existing keys will be changed. You can't change them individually. So you need to take the proper precautions to, again, back up the new password it gives you here with the same importance that we talked about earlier. Then you'll need to navigate back to the permissions tab and view your corresponding private keys for your posting and active permissions and take those down as well. Now, the last and final key we'll mention is the memo key. And currently the sole purpose of this key is just for sending and receiving private encrypted messages. And that's really all there is to it to that one. So that covers all the different account permissions and keys on Steemit. Just to demo how you would log in with your posting or active key, again, you'd copy down the private key after you click on this show private key link or log in to show link. Then next time you go to Steemit, you'll use the key you copy down and paste it in this password field. So I hope now you understand all the different keys on Steemit along with their corresponding use cases and that you'll take the appropriate measures to safely secure these keys and then get used to logging in for regular activities only with your posting key. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Steemit goodness.